Hey y'all, so today I wanted to tell a little bit of a story um, from when I first started transitioning and one of my coming out stories to a coworker. I get asked a lot, um, where do I where do I begin my transition? Who do I tell? How how do I how do I do it? Um, two things. First thing is see a gender therapist. That was so key to me and, and a lot of us. That that's how you can get your hormones started and everything the right way. Um, and then the second thing is building a su support system. You have to start telling people and and not hoping that they'll understand, but expecting them to understand and and knowing that they'll come alongside you and be there for you because when times are tough and you do run into some rejection, to have a shoulder to lean on is extremely important. Um, but to tell a little bit about this story, um, it's kind of funny, but it's, it has a good message. Um, so I was working in Waco at a furniture store. I was a store manager and I had an assistant manager and there was only two of us that worked there for a while. When I first got there, he had already been there and he said, are we going to get along? Sure. Absolutely. Why not? We'll just have fun. We're here to make money. Um, he said, well, you know, I'm, I'm a former athlete, I'm, I'm sexy, I'm attractive, I'm tall, I have beautiful eyes, and well, you don't. I was like, wow, okay, you're, you're, you're an ass, but sure, why not? You know, we'll find a way to make it work. Um, he he kind of rattled me a little bit, but he, he has a really big heart. We had a lot of fun together. We would joke at each other in front of customers, and we did really well. So I was still married and starting to go through a lot of problems at home. She wanted a divorce and I was stressed and it was showing at work how I felt. So he asked me one day, he said, what's, what's going on at home? He goes, cause I don't want to make the same mistake with my girlfriend. I said, well, you're not going to have to worry about that. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's private. I said, it's personal. It's something I really don't want to talk about. And him being a very good salesman made me feel guilty. I he kind of pressured and pushed me to explain to him what was going on. And as I kept telling him, no, uh, he got frustrated and he kind of got a little standoffish. He said, fine, you know what, deal with it on your own. Um, it's hard to deal with things on your own, but good luck. So I ended up pulling up my phone and, and showing him a picture of me. Um, he had never seen, nobody had really ever seen me dressed up. I, I was still wearing a wig at that time and but I wasn't full time. So I threw my phone down in front of him and let him look at the picture. And he, he said, I knew it, you're cheating bastard. That's your girlfriend. I said, no, 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 no. Um, kind of paused. He's like, that's, that's me in that picture. And he asked to see the phone back. And he said, well, you make a fine ass woman. Why, why do you dress up? Why, what makes you do that? So I explained it to him. I said, this, this is who I am. This is who I've always been. And I haven't really known how to express that. And I've never had a chance to be this person. Um, so I, I'm, I'm kind of scared. And his reaction was way different than I expected. And it opened my eyes to a lot. When he said, everybody has something that they deal with. He said, that's, that's, if that's you, be you. Because you have to be happy. And he said, I go home at night and I have a gun in one hand and a bottle of alcohol in the other. He said, it's, life sucks. Um, we got to know each other a lot more after that. And we talked and, and shared stories. He's, he's got a lot going on himself. But his reaction really opened my eyes because I judged him. We don't want to be judged, but yet we judge people and we always assume the worst. We, we want them to accept us, but we expect them to feel the same way that we felt about ourselves all life. We, we, we felt that there was something wrong with us, and that's how we think everybody else will react. When in fact, that's not how they'll react. I've run into pretty much only acceptance from everybody I've talked to. I've had a few people reject me, and it's, it sucks. But when you get to share your stories and you get to have people react the way that he did, it really opens up your mind and it opens up your own heart to, to understand that if you can accept yourself, other people will. And especially people who didn't expect to at all. So 
that was kind of one of my first experiences of sharing who I was with somebody I totally didn't know that much about. And it went really well. So kind of the point of that is, like I said, it's it's hard, but you have to accept and love yourself. And when you do, those doors open and you can share your story and you can have people's reactions be just the same. That's just one of many. So I encourage you, if, if you're really struggling, if you're just beginning, if you don't know what to do, definitely see a gender therapist. That's the first thing. And then... Start opening up to friends. You'll never know who's going to be there and that you'll need them along the way. So keep those in mind. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I'm really trying to do more videos and share more of these stories. Um, Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.